Hey, welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to create dramatic skies in Lightroom using a simple tool, the graduated filter. I'm going to start um, to show you a simple three clicks technique, and then we're going to dive right in into a more complex editing process, still using the graduated filter. All right, so these are the three pictures we're going to edit in this video. Um, so we're gonna learn how to go from this one on the left to this one on the right. We're going to show you how to make the sky pop with the colors like this one. And finally, <coughs> we'll see how to add, to add colors to your skies. And all of these are achieved using the graduate filter in Lightroom. All right, so this is the first picture we're going to edit. Um, this is a picture I take at the Louvre on a rainy day. And here you can see the, the finished picture, a fully edited picture. So this is the raw file. This is exactly the picture I took. Now I've already applied some basic editing to the, to the picture and this is where it takes us. Now you can see that I exposed for the foreground, meaning the foreground is perfectly exposed. However, the sky is way too bright for my taste. So on this picture, it's going to be very easy to create a dramatic sky. All right, so to start editing the sky, we're going to use the graduate filter. So you can click on the graduate filter tool or you can press M to open the tool. So with the graduate filter, you want to click on the sky and then drag down all the way across the sky. Now what it does is you see these three lines, uh, there are three lines on the graduate filter. The filter takes full effect up until the first line and then it starts fading down until the middle line and then completely fade down until the lowest line. Um, a cool trick too, when you're dragging the filter down, so when you, when you click on the sky, press shift, hold down shift when you're dragging, and this will, make, this will ensure that the filter is horizontal. Because if I'm not holding down shift, you see that yeah, the filter might be uh, not horizontal. So hold down shift and drag across the sky because you don't want to apply the full filter effect to the whole sky because if I do so and I drop down the exposure then you can see that it's very unnatural the filter takes full effect on the full sky and you can clearly see that this was edited so you want to fade your sky so I'm going to click approximately on the middle of the sky and then drag it down up until I want it to take effect and then I'm going to drop my exposure until I'm satisfied with it. So for this picture, I want to create a really dramatic sky. So I think I'm going to go with that much exposure. And then you can adjust your filter. So you can click on the, on the, the dot and adjust your filter where you, where, where you want the effect to apply. So I don't want the filter to darken the period. So I'm, I'm just going to put it right above the period and then fade it down. All right, so I'm satisfied with this. And now if you want to see what, it, what, what, what you just did with the filter, you can press on this light switch here to toggle on and off the effect. So that was before the filter. You can see it's super bright and way overexposed. And then if you click on it, that's the after way better. And that's it for this picture. That's all it took, three clicks. Open the graduate filter, drag it across the sky, and darken the exposure. And we're done. Now that we're done editing the first picture, let's jump into the second one. So the second picture is a picture I took from the Eiffel Tower at sunrise. So you can see the sky is popping with colors, orange, yellow, and red. However, when I took the picture, um, yeah, so that's the raw file. And you can see this is nowhere near as what it looked like and it looked exactly like this. So I started by applying basic edit to the picture. So this is the raw file and this is after my basic editing. And now to really create the mood and create dramatic skies, I want to use the graduate filters. So First off, I'm going to use a graduate filter for the sky. So I'm going to 
do the same as we did before. Click on this guy and drag it down. Uh, a cool tip, if you press O on your keyboard, you can see where the filter applies. So where it's green, it's where the filter is applied. And you can see there, because it's fading below, um, it's not as strong. So this is where I want the filter to apply. Now to create a dramatic sky, I'm going to first um, drop down the, uh, the highlights because you see I'm losing all the details in the highlights and if I close down the highlights I'm starting to recover much more detail and just with the highlights I'm gaining way more details in the sky so I'm not gonna go all the way down but yeah about minus 80 will do the trick um, then the Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower is affected you see when I drop down the highlights it's it's darkening a bit but I don't want it to darken too much so I'm going to counter this effect by opening up the shadows and this will um, hide this will counter the, the highlights I just dropped down um, next I want to apply a bit of sharpness, of sharpness to the sky because it's way too soft for my taste now um, so I'll just apply a bit and I'll do the same for clarity because I want this guy a little less soft. So that's where I want it to be. And now um, to really finish off this uh, this effect, to really finish off with the with the gradient filter, I want to add color. So to add color, you have two options. You can play around with the temperature and tint sliders, or you can use the color tool, which is there, which is which allows you to select exactly the color you want and apply. It. Um, the color to the filter but I'm just gonna use the color that are already in the picture and I just want to amplify the yellow tones in there so I'm gonna move around the temperature slider and I'll use about this so and now now that's a sunrise so if you click on the light switch you can see that's before the graduate filter and that's after yeah and now I'm still not satisfied uh, with the with the image. So because this part below the foreground is way too dark for my test. So what I'm going to do is I will use a new graduate filter. I click new here and I will drag it down or uh, drag it up all the way onto the foreground. Um so this is um this is the, there's already an effect applied to the filter. So I could double click on effect to reset it. And for this, I'm just going to add some exposure. I think I had about one stop of exposure. And yep. So about one stop of exposure. And that's, that really changes the, the whole look of the picture. It's way brighter. And now if you want to see before the filters and after. Now a cool tip. If you want to see the before and after of just the filter you used, you double click on effect on your filter so that will reset the effect and then you press command z on mac or, or control z on pc and that will redo the filter and then if you want to see again the after the before and after of this filter you can press command shift z on mac or control shift z on pc and then that will do the before and then command z or control z and then you see the after all right so that was the graduate filter for this and that was before you see um, this, was, this, was, this was really dark and the, the sky wasn't popping enough and that's after the filters and now we're done with the second picture now for the third one we're going to edit a picture I took from my flight home from Zurich to Paris and on this one, we're going to see some additional tips if the picture loads. All right, here we go. And there was a nice sunset, as you can see in the picture. But if you look at the raw file, you can see that we barely see any color in the sky. And we only see a bit on the horizon line, but that's about it. Even though when I took the picture, that's really what I saw out of the window, like a super popping orange sky. So. To do that, we're going to start with applying a basic edit. So that's um, the basic edit I applied. But the sky is still lacking. Um, 
So now we want to use the graduate filter to really add colors to the sky. All right, so we'll open the graduate filter tool and then double click on the effect to reset um, the effect and then we'll drag the filter all the way across the sky. But I don't want the effect to take place all over the sky, so I just want it to take place there. Full effect on really the, the top portion of the sky, but I want it to fade down quite a bit. There we go. So to make the color pop, um, first we're going to lower the exposure to create a dramatic mood. Um, I'll just add some contrast to, to the gradient filter. So we can see the, the clouds popping more at about 20. There we go. So now we want to add the color. So as I told you before, there's two ways to do it. And for this, for this edit, we're going to use both ways. We'll start with the temperature slider. Um, I'll start adding some yellows um, to make the sky warmer. And that's about it. And I'll add just a bit of tint to make a bit reddish sky. And then to really, really, really add colors, I'll, add, I'll use the color tool. So just click on the this little box below, color, and it opens um, this box. So there, you can choose any color you want, and it will apply the color to the sky. So for this, because I want it to be a sunset sky, I'll add some orange. Um, so I'll use this tint of orange, I think looks good. And there you can see, you can move around the saturation slider to choose how much saturation you're adding. I don't want to add too much, as you can see, the sky looks fake. But I don't want to add too little because then you don't notice the effect. I'll add around 70% saturation to this filter and I think it looks good. So there you go. So that was before the filter and that's after. Now the thing you, know, you might be noticing is the filter it's applying even to the plane wing and if you press O you can see there, all the the, play, the the wing is green, meaning the filter applied to the wing, but I don't want that. So here's a cool tip. You press on brush here, brush, and then you go down and you choose erase. And with this brush, it will erase the filter only to where you brush it. So what you want to do is brush the plane wing or brush any area where you don't want the filter to be applied and then it will just remove the effect from the filter so I'm just doing it super quickly for the sake of the video but I will spend way more time doing it doing actually doing it so I'll just do it for the video so I'll brush over the wing I'll brush over this, the reactor too And there we go. So you see the areas where I brushed are no longer green, meaning the filter is no longer applied to these areas. And now I press O again to see what I'm doing. If my there we go. So you can see because I did I did it quickly, there's still some areas of the, the, the wing that are still reddish because I didn't erase properly. But you can see all the areas from the plane. You can see if I, if I go down in the history and I go before I erased, you can see the whole wing is red right, if it's loading. There we go. The whole wing is reddish. And after I brushed, you can see the more natural color on the wing. There we go. But if I was really doing it, I would have brushed all the way properly and erased the filter from all the wings so it doesn't look fake. So there we go. So I'll zoom out. There we go. And that's before the filter. See, like a dull, dull sky. 
and then after really really popping with colors but now to finish the edit I think this area of the sky the clouds are too dark so I'll just use another filter I'll drag it up and I'll just add a third of a stop and some clarity to make this the clouds pop and some sharpness and you, you, you can see it's only applying to this area so I'm just going to amplify the fade and make it take effect there there we go so if I double click effect and you see that was before the second filter and that's after the second filter there we go and now if we if we look if we take a look at what we achieved with the filter so that's that was before all the filters we did all white and there was really no interest to the picture and then after and now we have a sky that is popping with colors all right so that about wraps up the video um i hope you learned a cool trick or two um, how to, on how to use the graded filters in Lightroom to create dramatic skies and if you've been watching this video from the blog um, drop me a comment down below in the comment section and tell me if you've learned anything or if you like the video um, if you're watching this video from YouTube you can subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section as well alright guys take care see ya